What's up everybody, Kev here. Today we're going to be covering HBO Max, taking a first look at it, and it is finally out. It came out today. Today is the 27th of May. So first things first, you're just going to simply sign up, of course. Once you do, it's going to give you a profile. You can manage multiple profiles. And once you're all set up and signed in with your card information and stuff, you're good to go. And this is how you are greeted when you enter. You're going to have a nice display and a nice UI. Of course, all this stuff is always going to resemble some type of Netflix Hulu layout because what other layout can there really be? So it does look neat right off the bat. And we have our featured series right big and bold on the top and big squares. Uh, a lot of premieres of stuff they're premiering, um, their originals which are right here, a lot of different originals from Looney Tunes, uh, an Elma late night show, and some other things like that. You are able to add things to your list, so I just added this to my list. Now this is the new Looney Tunes. As you can see, it looks really clean and remastered. You can go ahead and add individual episodes or the whole series itself. Choose by the season, episode, all that good stuff and more. Launch and rate up. It plays right away. You have a little bit of description right to the side saying what it is, how long it is, uh, the rating, all that good stuff and more. Obviously can't play clips from it because of copyright, but just to show you it loads smooth perfectly and is very clear and crisp. We're going to go ahead and back out of that one. And I'm just pretty, I'm sorry, I'm just pretty amazed that, uh, it looks this good because it almost still looks old, but really, really HD. So I kind of like that look. It doesn't have like a new modern look. It looks old, but somehow super clear in HD. Going on to the next thing, of course, we have featured series. Originals are here. Another featured movie section. You got like things like Aquaman, It, Downtown Abbey, uh, Bad Education, Good Boys, Casablanca, Hangover, stuff like that. Your whole Harry Potter season, all eight episodes. So if you want to do a crazy binge watch while you're on lockdown or whatever the case may be, you can go ahead and do that. They got all eight right there. Moving on down, they have series editors picks. So these are all picks by editors at HBO and stuff like that. Really good stuff. I love Silicon Valley. Um, Entourage is great. I love all that stuff. Down below here, it says uh, HBO Max Hubs, and this is where you can get to certain categories of just that certain niche thing that you want. So if you want Cartoon Network, Studio Ghibli, DC, anything like that, you just want a certain network or a certain studio of movies and TV, you can do that. And they're actually going to have cool little neat sections that they put together for you based on certain things and trends. So that's really cool to see. We do have DC. No Marvel on this one, obviously, but they do have DC. Marvel, obviously, is going to be owned by Disney. Of course, that's going to be Disney+. Plus. But on HBO, you can get your DC fix going on. So they do have all that stuff right here, all the good Batman stuff, all the good movies, even the animated ones that you love, the Lego ones, all that. I'm a huge fan of Batman. He's my favorite superhero, so I would click the Batman collection. And right here, you have things organized by the best villain, animated Batman, the whole series of Batman, Lego Batman. You can literally go on a Batman binge all day if you wanted to, and you'd be good to go. It's all right there for you, all neat, all organized. Looks really well. Of course, they do have Sesame Street. They're just naming this area the Sesame Workshop. Obviously, I'm not going to watch Sesame Street, but I did when I was a kid who didn't. Love that stuff when I was younger, but if you have kids currently, uh, anything like that you can keep them entertained with stuff like this and they have this new late night with elmo show i'm not really sure if that's supposed to be aimed at kids I, I don't really know because it's like a late night show i don't know what they're even covering but they do have things like the fresh prince of bel-air you can go ahead and check by the episode by the season they do have a nice big thumbnail up top so you can see what that episode is about and clicking on it will give you a description of the episode as well You have like your rom-com favorites right here, obviously, all the like lovey-dovey comedy stuff if you want to watch that, uh, your girlfriend, whoever, any, or if you're into that, hey, who knows, there's some good rom-coms that I enjoy too myself. So yeah, you can go ahead and check that out. They have family section, so if you want to watch with the whole family, this is something that they suggest that would be good for the whole family of all ages if you want to get together and sit down. And uh, let's check it out a little bit more what we got going on over here. Hold on, I had to scroll up here, add that Scooby-Doo. Uh, let's see, scrolling on down, you have your animation, like I said. 
We're going to have a whole bunch of movies, and these are going to be the movies right down below uh, underneath the Crime Spree documentaries, and these are blockbuster franchises, and you can click on that, and it's going to give you a full library of all kinds of blockbuster hits with the sequels and stuff as well. Tons and tons of content for you to watch and enjoy, so if you want to go ahead and watch it in a double feature, go from the first to the second, second to third, whatever the case may be, however they do order it on this section, you can do that too, so watch a double feature some nights. They're going to have all the nightmares on Elm Streets, the police academies. I'm going to have to add that Mighty Ducks to the list, of course. And then you have just different things like this, character animations and stuff like that. There are a lot of cool categories, and they do seem to make different categories for fun little things like that that necessarily aren't just, you know, comedy, action, drama. They seem to make their own little fun, quirky uh, areas based on a certain subject or stuff. So I do like seeing that as well. Again, right here, you have things based on a true story, young at heart. So this is something that I would definitely, definitely check on. Young at Heart is literally what I am. I'm going to have to watch like a lot of animation and stuff on here. I do love animation no matter how old I get. I love Pixar movies. I love all that stuff. I love old cartoons. So I'm definitely going to be checking that stuff out. Heading on over to movies. Of course, self-explanatory. We have our movies. Uh, as you can see, I'm adding stuff as we go. Things I like that I want to add to my list. And things that are curated, certain like on your seat action or off your seat action, different comedies like raunchy, edgy comedies, documentaries. They really offer it all and they have everything that you really would want or need all in one area for you right here. Now going off on the side, they do have different sections. They're going to have just added. Um, obviously, it came out today, so everything that is on there is just added. They have originals, series, all that stuff. Last Chance, this is going to be stuff that is going to be removed soon, so stream it before it's gone. Luckily, it's not a huge category, as you can see. It doesn't look like a huge chunk of movies that are going to be removed, so that's good to see. You're going to have your coming soon section, sports, shorts, news talk, international, kids, drama, documentary, action, comedy, crime. Every genre and everything like that is going to have you covered, even a bunch of niche stuff as well, like I was saying earlier. Again, the hubs, we're going to see what has the TCM, the Turner Classic Movies. This is obviously going to be stuff, people who want like older stuff. Little Shop of Horrors isn't that that old to me. So we're definitely going to add that to the list because that's a classic as well. Now, as you can see, refreshing, getting back to the homepage, I'm going to have my continue watching section and my list section. It's going to keep that whole list right there for you, like a queue in Netflix. It's going to keep that whole list there right for you, ready to go at your expense whenever you want it, whenever you need it. Someone like me, I'm going to be watching a lot of old school Dexter's Laboratory, and they have it right here listed by the season, beautiful big thumbnails, description for each episode, and a description for the show overall up top right here, and you can add it to your series list, remove it from your series list, whatever you need to do, you can do that, and it loads up quick, fast, I've had no problems with buffering, of course this is going to differ based on internet and location and stuff like that, but I've had no issues, on your side you're going to have your billing information, manage your devices, they do have parental controls, your notifications, you can add and remove multiple profiles, which is always a plus for me, but yeah, this is HBO Max, so I hope you check it out, I would suggest it, I think it looks great, and I think they got a lot to offer, and I think more to come, so hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell if this did help, I hope it did, everyone stay safe, I hope everyone is well, and I hope everyone's going to have a great summer coming up, so yeah, thanks again, stay tuned for a word after the video from a sponsor of mine, but it's a word from me about my sponsor, so stay tuned after that, I think it's something that's actually going to help you, it's not just some blah, 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 it's something that I really think that you're going to need to be protected online this year, and every year to come, so stay tuned for that, thanks again everybody, this is Kev, I hope you enjoy, and I'm out. This video is brought to you by IPVanish VPN. Go ahead and take your online security seriously when it comes to surfing the web, streaming, anything like that. And they have a deal right now, 73% off on IPVanish plus SugarSync at only $3.25 a month with seven day money back guarantee and 24 seven customer support. It's proudly recommended by Mashable, TechRadar, CNET, CNN, Lifehacker, PCMag.com, and so much more. They have three options. You can do it monthly, yearly, or by three months, but obviously the best option is the one year 
a whole package saving 73% right now. Link is in the description down below. Of course, IP Vanish is the way to go. As you know, recently, some of my subscribers know I came back from my channel being taken from me. So I always want to take my security really serious now and make sure I'm protected on the web and I'm not having anyone trace my anything just just staying completely protected so that's why i want you guys to check out ip vanish link is in the description down below you can watch content from any place defend every file and on every device you know there's geo restrictions if you want to watch certain content in a certain country or certain area you can change your location stop those geo restrictions stop isp throttling so much more the benefits don't stop so i really want you to check that out go ahead you got end-to-end -end protection on all your devices you can go ahead and get it on Windows, Mac, iOS, Android, Fire TVs and Fire Sticks, Linux, Chrome OS, routers, so much more. And it does not trace any logs and it keeps you protected. So go ahead and check that out. Once again, link is in the description down below. And I also pinned a comment of the link down there too as well. So I hope everybody stays safe. 2020 is a crazy year, so we're going to stay safe, healthy, whole, online, physically, everywhere. We're going to stay safe. Thanks for checking us out.